experimental. Now instead of starting a crappy band no one wants to listen to, I'm gonna make some food. Now this one was inspired by free food that I got from work that's kind of uh, expired. So uh, first ingredient, soy riso. Next experimental ingredient, wonton wrappers. So I got these two things at work and then I was thinking, well, what can we do with that? What can you do with that, Doc Hollywood? So I bought a can of organic black beans to go with it and uh, we're gonna make some soy riso black bean wontons. I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. If this ends up on YouTube, you know it's gonna be delicious. So let's go start. So let's gather our ingredients. Soriso, wonton wrappers, organic black beans, green onions, I mean garlic, green onions, and some cilantro. So after you chop up your garlic, just go ahead and on a pan with a little bit of oil in it, just on a medium heat. Toss it in, let it sizzle for about 30 seconds. Not too long, you don't want to cook garlic too long. Cook it till you smell it. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and toss my half of my packet of soy riso in there. You could use real chorizo if you want. I don't eat that stuff, so it's not an option for me. Once you toss that in, go ahead and toss beans in too. Go ahead and mix it up. Make a nice little filling, hopefully. <laughs> uh, like I said before, we're just experimenting, but you know, we like all these ingredients, so technically, it should be good. I would say just uh, heat it up till it's heated up. You don't want to cook it too long. The soy riso is already cooked. The beans are already cooked. Plus you're, about, you're gonna throw them in some wontons and fry it, so. So when you're done heating it up, put it all in the bowl. This tastes good. So now, I'm just gonna chop some green onions to throw on top there. Toss those in. So just mix that up. And I think we're ready to make some wonton. Let's do it. Now when you're making your wonton, they kind of stick together. So make sure you got only one. Unless you're trying something fancy, which by all means, do. Put just a teeny bit of filling in there. wet your finger, cover the edges so they stick together, fold it over, and make sure you seal all the air out of them. This one is called the pillow, but if you're feeling experimental, the possibilities are infinite. We've got the bunch. Another example of the pillow. This one is the nurse's cap. This one's the pyramid. Then we got the rosebud. Then we have four envelopes and four mini burritos. We're gonna do this one burrito style. So fold it halfway. Make sure to get all the air out of there. Sides, and then just do one more roll. The burrito. So when you're ready, you pass it over to Dog Hollywood. So we're gonna go ahead and fry these in some uh, veggie oil that we got here heating up. Whoa. Ooh. So don't heat them up for too long if your oil's a little hot. Want to make sure that they're nice and golden brown like that. 
Ooh, those are ready. When you're done, garnish with a little cilantro. Your favorite topping, ours today is gonna to be guacamole. And experiment number one, ready to try. Mmm, <laughs> that's really good. The secret to successful experimental cooking is to use ingredients you already like. That way, no matter what you do, most likely you'll like the flavor of what you're making. Don't be afraid to experiment, because if people didn't experiment, we would never have something like soy riso black bean wontons. And who wants to live in a world where you don't experiment and love the people you want to love? I say fuck that, make some good food. Shout outs to my partner in crime, Lawless. Yeah, yeah. Working the camera, showing you how to make some wontons. And on that note, my name is Doc Hollywood, and I'm out. Peace. Shout outs to my... Uh,